I wanted to start this video by saying it is a new wheel day for the Mark 7R. I hope you are as excited as me about this project. I've come all the way to Scotland for new wheels. I'm rocking up on a Saturday at four o'clock to Offset Auto House. It's happening. Steve and his partner Jordan, they've got some fresh wheels for me and it's gonna be sick. They've been on Jordan's car, he's had them on a Jetta and they showed me a video of them last night and said, these are for sale, do you want them? I was like, 100%. So they were like, we'll get down here tomorrow and you can put them on your car here and drive them home. So that's what we're doing. It's a fresh day, we've got fresh rims going on the Mark 7R. The black on black hype. I feel like black wheels on a black car was at... Do you know what? Before we go any further in today's video, I wanted to remind you, Free snapback cap, every single order on owner right now. If you're ordering one of our jackets, one of our t-shirts, one of our hoodies, make sure you go to the hat section, pick your favorite snapback cap and add it to your basket. Straight up, it's that simple. No tricky business, it's a sick deal. Flat peaks, flat peaks are back. Last night I figured out, you have camber plates at the top of the air rod system. I was running my front camber plates like this, sideways, which was allowing for this massive chunky tyre. Which is a sick tyre to be fair, it's a PS4S, which they don't get much better than this tyre. But to, to accommodate for the fat tyre, I had to have my camber plates cambering my front wheels like this so they go in the arch. But what we didn't realise was the back of the airbag was touching the metal on the car. It gets sort of technical, but basically these tyres are too fat with these wheels to work with this car safely for the airbags. Basically the camber was needed for the tyre clearance, but then the camber was pushing the back of the airbag on the metal on the car. So the tyres need swapping. I messaged Steve to get some advice on tyres for the 7R in the air ride stance. And um, he basically was like, we've got wheels right here if you want a banging set of wheels. So we are going to get some wheels. It's going to be sick. I am going to break it to you right now. I'm getting Rotiforms. Mark 7R, airlift performance, free P, strapped to Rotiforms. It's the only way of doing it. So I'm going to do a few little clips of the 7R. Apologies, it's not aired out right now because I've moved me, I've backed my camber off. But I can't air it out on these tyres. So super technical. I don't think... Many people will understand it, but I think if you're into your air ride and stancing and slamming cars, I think you'll get it. And that's the point right now. This is the last time that you're gonna see the 7R, black on black wheels. Looks pretty sick, but it's time for the roti forms. So I'm getting roti forms second hand off Jordan at Offset. Um, they were his wheels, they've been on his Jetta for like six weeks or something. And Basically, if I sell my wheels and tyres, pretty much I'll get most of my money back for the new wheels. So, roti forms, the upgrade is happening. It's going to be sick. I'm about one mile from offset right now. Stay tuned. See you in there. I don't know how much I'm going to film, but you're going to see my new wheels in today's video, and that's what really matters. Do me a favour, if you're hyped on the fresh air ride type content if you're hyped on the roti forms getting dropped today smash the like button for me i think it's down here somewhere <laughs> offset auto house it's happening we've just arrived we are at the location hey i filmed me intro in a um a fuel station like a mile away <laughs> <laughs> i should have done it here new wheel day it's happening check it out roti forms Tough R, T-U-F-R. Yeah. T-U-F-R. Sick that. So it's the last day of the black on black. It's over. How you doing, lad? Not too bad. How's my air ride installation, be brutally honest? Better than I expected, yes, to be lad. deadly honest. I was expecting good, but we'll do for now. But I'd leave it. Leave it alone. How many how many phone calls would you say we did we had? I actually tried to work this out. I think over three days we averaged five calls a day. <laughs> but it's made it's made it work. It's made it work. What else have you been doing today? This S1. Uh, yes, that got done. Well, not that it's on the floor, but that got done. Started last night, finished today. Can we air it out? Is it yeah, yours? Yeah. Can we air it out? Sick. So they've done the S1 today. Where and bags. Is it 3P? Yep. Yeah. Sick. 
Changes a car, don't it? Yes, one's actually up fire. So how much do I have to pay you for you to be on me on my video? A pound per view. But Scott, it won't cost you much these days. I'm not that popular anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have these been on, lad? Mark Five Jetta. Which is over there. Which looks lovely now on its two wheels. I reckon it looks all right, mate. I don't know, mate. The wheels have been swapped. So basically, we were going back and forth last night. It's a long story, but. My wheels need changing. And these wheels were on the Jetta, and as you can see, that is an absolute machine. I'm pretty sure we've got some people from the state side watching right now. If you are watching, you know you know what these are. You just don't see enough of these, do you? Uh, is that on 3P? Uh, yeah. 3P, sick. Are they, are they 18s on it now, then? 18s, they were 19. No way. But since you're paying me a pound per click, I'm going 20s. They done that, we didn't fast. So much better. They look absolutely rude. Right there. That's still on the jack. That's at me highest ride setting as well. I just remember the left, the right side can't drop. Here we go, Jordan's sending it. Jordan's sending it. We're going to see what it looks like aired out on the new fresh roti form. Top ours. Looks sicker to be fair, I reckon. Where's our controller? Where's my what? Controller. Oh, in the centre. Jeez! Actually, sick. Sold! <laughs> that is rude, isn't it? Sold to the man from Scotland. <laughs> yes, lad. They look sick. So much better. Jeez! Into that. Hyped on life right now. Change of scenery, I'm not in the garage right now. I was expecting to have to do this myself, but Jordan and that have hooked it up and done the other side for me. Which is good because we know they fit. But I'm actually gonna do the other side myself so I can say that I've at least done something while I've been here. Let's go, we're gonna take the old black bowler FLF wheels off and we're gonna install the Rotiform TUFR, or Tough R, depends how you wanna say it. Provisional, if you're coming in here, don't run over my camera because the, the entrance is there. We are in Scotland. This is the first time I've come to Scotland in like five years and I'm doing this in this weather. It's getting worse. It's, oh, it's going to be so bad. Unbelievable. I've got spare hand stuff. <laughs> Jesus! Ah, <laughs> oh, it looks sick now. Only a true one week old air ride enthusiast would understand. <laughs> <laughs> Supercar 
car blogger? <laughs> Sick car. You don't like the external exhaust of the airbag drop, do you? No, I keep mine like quite as. I'm gonna do one of them things where you know on YouTube they pull people and they go, "What do you do for a living in a nice car? Oh. What do you do for a living, lad?" British gas. <laughs> I own British gas. No, I'm actually a British gas engineer, and I own this wonderful place, which building the dream. Literally that, Offset. building people's cars for fun. One, another one, many along here. Is Sick here, lad. What we do. Sick here, lad. Safe. Look at the wheels, man. I'm, I'm, it's not actually aired out right now. Relax your souls. Oh, this all started yesterday. I only needed really to change my tyres. But they're Michelin PS4S's on the black bowler wheels. So we started going back and forth, didn't we? We did. And then this guy happened. I showed him I'm on that car. And I said, just put these on it. And you took what? An hour? I think I said, I think I resisted it. Yeah, resist. you did to start with. You're like, oh, I'm not sure I wanted a more spoky wheel. <laughs> and then, then Next I get a message at 10 o'clock at night. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then about 100 voice messages yeah, after exactly that. exactly that. So we're here. They're on. It's aired out. Check this out. The look. Fire in the booth. <laughs> Yo, yo, don't ask me why I'm in no top. In fact, I'll tell you why I'm in no top. I didn't bring a spare t-shirt and I'm not sitting in my wing backs after a session like that. That is the truth. So, just been for a little bit of a savage ride at Gisborne Forest, quick lap, pretty sick. Sunday afternoon, I think it's Sunday evening. It's like eight o'clock at night, just finished. I'm always here late having a sesh. If you're a sick rider, come and get involved. Um, Basically, check this out. This is the wheels from yesterday. I went to Scotland. I got home at like midnight last night. Slept till about 10 a.m. this morning. Got up, stared at my wheels for like six hours, and then come for a ride. And it looks rude on the air ride with the bike rack. Check this out. Jeez, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So I drove all the way to Scotland yesterday for these beasts and they're absolutely savage absolutely loving it my car's actually on the floor like on the ground right now check that out it is so nice i think the silver just breaks it up massively makes it look a lot more like higher end show car style i feel like the other black on black setup I think the wheels got lost a lot, so you couldn't see the air ride that much. But I think now you can see that the arches are swallowing the um, the wheels and that. So yeah, we are going to be heading back to the garage. I'm not sure where this video is sort of heading. I kind of just went, took my camera, filmed a bit of a vlog, put all my wheels on, and it brings us to now. So see what ends up happening. This horse flies everywhere. My t-shirt's ringing wet. See you at the garage. transformation now that's at my current ride height which I think looks absolutely rude it's in we're in the 7R and it's new rims are in the bowlers 
not a hundred percent sure on my future plans and you've got a mark 7 and you want some fresh kicks get at me i probably would sell them with the ps4s tires on as a package absolutely banging set of wheels um the 7r looks so much more like a dumped out vw now i kind of feel like when it was black on black with the boulders i feel like it was kind of like if you're into like standardish cars it was like a bit of a wheel upgrade for the standard car but i feel like you have to be hardcore into show cars i'm guessing there's going to be a mixed range of comments today um they're not for everyone i can appreciate that but i think the people who are really into this type of look on a car will just think it looks savage so it's nice to have it back in the building i've been sort of parking it right at the very back of the garage so i've got a maximum amount of space still in the garage looks pretty sick to be fair that's how low my split it is at my current ride height. I sort of drive it round in my centre preset. Um, actually, I haven't really showed you my ride height. So, your centre button on your air out is preset ride height. So, we'll set that. There you go, 60-60, roughly 55-55, front and back. It's doing its thing right now, sorting its life out. So, that's sort of how I drive round, isn't it? That's me current preset ride setting. So if I'm driving around, um, going down the road to the shop or something, that'd be how it sort of sits. Um, so if I'm heading to the bike park and the paths aren't the best, pretty bumpy, sketchy roads, I have 75 as me preset setting. So that's gone up now, as you can see. It's a lot higher, we've got a lot of wheel arch gap. We've got up the back as well, the back doesn't need to be as high. However, now I can actually fit quite a lot under there. Can actually fit quite a lot under there. There's nothing in there. Don't you worry Rocco. So yeah, it's a lot higher in its preset, its highest setting. Um, and then obviously when you get to somewhere, when you get to somewhere again, where you can just chill out a bit more, put it back to me preset. Back to me preset, which is there. Looks pretty chilled. We're gonna bag it out. For the first time on camera in the garage, let's have a look. I'm trying to balance this on one of my wheels right now. Basically, we're going to bag it out right now for the first time in the garage. Why not on its new rims? They look absolutely sick. I'm actually going to do some detailed shots of the wheels and show you the centre caps and that. Why not? I feel like this whole video has been sort of about the wheels. I may as well continue that process. So let's bag it out. I'll show you what it looks like. Absolutely bagged out. Nice. 3 PSI, 2 PSI, 1 PSI, done. Done. So as you can see, wheels like this come to life when it's air rided. When it's bagged out, that's when wheels like this come to life. Like. I feel like the other wheels were proper sick, but I feel like they're more like sick when it's in the air. I feel like with a car like this, it comes to life when it's on its ass like that. It looks proper sick. So, this is my old lock and wheel nut. This was to get my old bolts sort of out. This thing's pretty... Say hello to the camera, Quacho. Say hello, lad. Quacho's on air ride. I've told you all of this loads of times. Quacho's, <laughs> Quacho's on air ride at all times. His preset ride height is savage. This thing's pretty crazy. This is a centre cap that I got with these wheels and I'm going to show you how it works because you have to be able to take the roti form centre cap off these wheels to be able to get to the wheel nuts and then it's actually a pretty cool little concept behind it I'm going to show you. So you have these centre caps here as you can see it should come off with my hand no so you have these little roti form what are you doing Quacho do you like my wheels do you like my new wheels do you like my new wheels or what lad we need less quacho bum and more wheels. So there we have it. You park up there, lad. That'll be great if you could sort that out for me. So yeah, check it out. These are the fresh wheels. 
These things are pretty crazy though. This is like a centre cap that goes on the centre cap. And you use a 17mm spanner on that section to get it off. However, it should come off because we only tightened it up by hand. Ah. These unscrew, I'm going to show you. Crazy. Nice quality as well, like these are, these are pretty heavy in all fairness. So yeah, they're the centre caps, look at the attention to detail on that. That is beautiful. Threaded in centre cap there. Look, I'm really steezy. Can't wait to wash these wheels, it's going to be such a more straightforward wash than washing into like wheel bolts and stuff. You then take that off, you've actually got two options, so 5x112 or 5x114, I'm pretty sure. Which I thought was kind of cool, so when I'm washing them I can obviously take that off, clean all this, clean inside. It's going to be pretty sick, or maybe you'd just clean it without actually taking anything like that off. So you'd, you'd probably just clean normally, and then maybe once every now and again, fully open everything up and clean everything down with a brush and stuff. And then you just tighten your centre bolt back on, it pushes your cap tight in the centre, as you can see. And then you carry that around in your glove box to get that off if you're on the side of the road and you run into a bit of mischief. So yeah, I'm actually well, well hyped about these wheels to be fair, they're really dirty right now. Uh -huh. Really dirty right now, I'm looking forward to having a good clean later on, I might film the whole process and do like a full clean video or something. But yeah, they look sick. I think you can see the air ride a lot more so when the car like sort of drops on them. I think you can just see it a lot more. What do you reckon, Rocco? You into it? This is going to be sick. I actually condensed all my boxes here as well, so I had boxes all the way along the top of my tool chests. Um, they were sort of doing me heading. Like, I'd come in to detail my car and it was always a mess and stuff. So I condensed all my mountain bike cleaning products, pretty much just muck off and a few other little bits. Um, lubes and oils, WD-40, GT-80... Six, I think it's called. I can't remember. Um, all my mountain bike stuff's gone into like one thing. I am debating, sort of spreading all the car detail and stuff all the way along the back wall. Just so I've got a lot of space to work with and um, sort of detail from and stuff. I was thinking I could have like an auto finesse section, um, another brand section, chemical guys section and another brand section or something like that. I was thinking that could be pretty cool all the way down here. So I've got big plans. I also have got a few projects coming up in the future. Um, if you've missed any of my recent content, I've got MX-5 side skirts, MX-5 rear bumper um, to go on. That's probably going to be a really, re really, really soon up and coming video because I'm sort of delaying it at this point. Also, I've got tyres which are like full savage um, road slash track tyres. Um, AD08RS. If you know, you know. They're proper sick. So I've got them to go on the polo, but I need to refurb my polo wheels. The reason why I haven't got to the polo yet is because I need to raise the coilovers on the front. I need a C-spanner for... I need a ST suspension C-spanner. So I've got to raise the front suspension because on the car right now they've got a slimmer profile tyre. So I've got these tyres, which are a little bit of a bigger profile tyre, but I think they'd be great for track days, great for some street driving and stuff like that. So I need to send the Polo off for a refurb and painted wheels in black. That should then hopefully look really cool on these tyres as a little daily, little jump in, jump in it street car. There's a lot going on. I was thinking maybe for a future video I could do, like, put the Polo on axle stands, send the wheels off machine polish the whole car, get the whole car dialed, and then literally come in, put the wheels on it, and it'd like complete the whole refurb, bit of a transformation on my polo. And then my polo's sort of restored, ready. I was thinking I could spray all the black lower grills, or like two pack lacquer, everything. It'd probably be like a one week project or something, sessioning it every day. My God, look how sick the 7R looks from here. It looks ruthless. Expert need of a clean. So that is going to be happening today. That's going to be getting a clean today. Getting sorted out, but I more just wanted to bring it in and show you it with its new shoes on in the garage. I think it looks absolutely savage. So hyped. So hyped. 
Look at that. One thing I actually didn't really notice as well is it sort of goes with the colour of the bike rack. The bike rack's like a silver colour, it's not chrome, it's like silver. And it matches really well with the wheels. So it sort of ties it in right now. Seven hours, an absolute machine. Makes me day. Makes me day. This is the current condition of my Santa Cruz Bronson CC. It's absolutely rotten. Absolutely rotten. Proper pit right now. That needs cleaning as well. So I've got a lot to get on with. I've got my old coilovers, they probably need shifting on to a good home there down there. I've got my old wheels now, I'll probably shift them on to another home. I've got a paint, the Polo Alloys, I've got to fit the Mazda aftermarket bits. Um, I want to also get a good section going here, all the way along here, and I want to wash the 7R, so I've got a lot to get on with. I'm going to be a busy, busy guy the next few days. Don't forget, go to the link in the description to get yourself some owner gear. And make sure you add your favourite snapback cap because you'll get it for free. It's that simple. Free snapback hat every single order. And I'll see you in the next video. Get involved in the comments below. Smash the like button and I'll see you next time. Peace out.